What's up, everybody? Pico CTF 2022. Let's do it. In the last video, we were cruising through the substitution ciphers. Um, we did substitution zero and substitution one, in which we were able to crank out some Python code or use the utility online quip quip that would do a whole lot of that dirty work for us, doing the frequency analysis, performing Kasiski's test and figuring out, hey, what might map to what in the English language for substitution ciphers? It seems that another encrypted message has been intercepted. The encryptor seems to have learned their lesson though, and now there isn't any punctuation. Can you still crack the ciphers? Uh, we can download the message here and get back to <laughs> literally where we were moments ago for substitution two this time as a directory. And I am not going to waste any time. Let's download this thing. Let's check out what the contents are and we'll slap it right into quip quip. It looks like I don't know. Will that be able to keep track of things that don't have word boundaries? It says it can. Let's see if it can, uh, you know, put the pedal to the metal here, just as it mentions. I'll scroll down. <laughs> there exists several other well-established high school security competitions, including Cyber Patriots. Okay, so this looks like it has it totally fine. Um, but the flag portion looks whack. I don't know if it got that well. Pico CTF, an arm my any do BF boyfriend. <laughs> uh, was that split up? Oh, the numbers. You know what? We could still work with that. In all reality, I think we could. It took Pico CTF, and then it had all these letters changed and replaced. So, N, R, M, wait, what? And why? So I see the second word analysis. Tedious. Tedious. Analysis is tedious. B. Oh, no, no, that was E, B, F. Ooh. Something feels still wrong there. Ooh. No ram? Oh, 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 this portion is is halved. That, that's just like the random hexadecimal. But is the N6RM one good? Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> what word is that? Ngram. Ngram analysis. Uh, and that that is hey something where you don't have the word boundaries kept intact i figured it out i learned it we learned it together and we made our lives easier by using the old quip quip we didn't have to charge through that one on our own um and i would not really recommend it to folks unless you really really want to i don't know if there is python code for kasiski's test frequency analysis we might end up doing some stuff for stuff like veneer ciphers, baggage cryptanalysis, Kasiski method. There might be some tools that we could play with it and do stuff with. Some cool blog posts where people might have shown case this together. Oh, they do it for veneer, veneer uh, cryptography challenges. Do they give us something super slick, super easy? 
I see a link for the code. Input file to be used for this example can be downloaded here. Do they streamline the process? They do of like kind of building out all the functions here. Final code to trigger the all. Uh, this maybe does that put together? Oh no no no! That just does frequency. Now that just gets numbers. I think it's not going to return like a mapping for us. But a lot of these might be worthwhile to explore for later challenges where we know we're going to be up against the Vigneer cipher. Here's a tool for it, etc. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. We've learned. We have a, a cruise through that challenge with Quip Quip and uh, still got to mess around with some letters and play there. So I'm going to call that one complete because I don't know if substitution ciphers are something that is fun for you. I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to claim that it might be or might not be, but you know what we are going to end up doing is just kind of saving the flag here and calling this challenge done, finished, complete. And with that, we can move on, ladies and gentlemen. So thanks for sticking with it. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. A quick, another quick video, at least a little bit longer than the past one because we, had, we got to hang out and, I don't know, Google around for a little bit. But hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed. I don't know how to end videos anymore. I've been doing this for however many hours. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>